back everyone today in this video I'll be showing you how you can install the Google Assistant for your Windows 11 PC or any Windows PC for Windows PCs we already have two assistants which are Amazon's Alexa and Microsoft's on Cortana but for tech geeks like us we need the Google Assistant so I'll be showing you how you can install the Google Assistant with complete wake word support and with no errors just head over to a browser and go to the Melvin Abraham's github page I'll be linking this in the description or you can follow my steps and you can scroll down and download the latest version of the client desktop client and you can see these Assets for different operating systems. So we are using a Windows device, so we can download the .exe file. We can see this one; it is the .exe file. Click on that and wait for it to be downloaded. And the latest version already comes with the Hey Google or OK Google keyword detection. Okay, now it is downloaded. Now we have to head over to the other side, which is the Google's Cloud Console. and also to the actions console so make sure these are the official sites click on go to actions console I'll be linking the direct link in the description and sign in to both of them with your Google accounts So first of all, you have to do the first things, initial things in the Actions Console, not in the Cloud Console. So in the Actions Console window, click on New Project. I have multiple projects created, that's why it is showing like this. For you, the window might be different. So, first, uh, so in any window, you can click on New Project. And there, enter our project name. I'm giving it as Windows 11. Windows 11. Assist and uh, i am suggesting to you to leave the language and region as default click on create project and in this tab just scroll down just don't click anything just scroll down and click on this last option are you looking for device registration click there and wait for it to load the new web page so in the new page click on register model and there you can give your product a name I'm naming it as Google Assistant on Windows 11. And your manufacturer name, you can give any name. And select the device type. Set it as a speaker. Set it as a speaker and click on register model. And you can click on download the OAuth 2.0 credentials. But there is a problem. The latest version of the assistant on Windows has many errors in it. So the OAuth 2.0 credentials from here doesn't seem to work. So I suggest you not to download anything from here. Just click on next and click on all traits. Click on save traits. After it is saved, you can go to the cloud console. In the cloud console, you have to select the project that you just created. And then here in the drop down arrow, just make sure that you selected the project that you just created. The project I just created was Windows 11 Assist. So just click on that. Then click on the hamburger icon. Go to API and services. Go to the library. And search for Google Assistant.
find the Google Assistant API. So you go to Google Assistant API and click on Enable. It will enable the Google Assistant API and services for this particular project that we just created. Make sure that it's the project that you created, Windows 11 Assistant. It's the project that I created right now in the Google Cloud Console. So just wait for it to be enabled. And now it will take you to another tab, another window. There you can see the Google Assistant API is successfully enabled for the project. Now again click on the hamburger icon and click on API and services, go to the OAuth consent screen. Click on external, don't click internal, it is only available for the G Suite users. Click create. And in there under users about email address, select your email. Scroll down, just leave these tabs as empty. Scroll down and under developer contact information, add an email address, a valid email address. I'll give it an email address and click on save and continue. And then scroll down and click on save and continue in the scopes and optional information also. Click on save and continue. You need not add anything here. And the summary you can see user type is external and we have users about email address provided and also the contact email address provided and click on back to dashboard. Then scroll down and click on add users. Give the email address that you would like to use with the Google Assistant on your PC and give your email, click on save. Okay, now we have successfully added the test user. Now we need the auth credential. So go to this credentials tab above the auth consent screen. And we have this one, the first auth credential, which is Windows 11 as is Google. This first auth credential is the one which is not working. And that is the one that we uh, has already provided to download at the first step. So instead of downloading that, we should download this one. That is the web client auto created by Google service. Click on that. Click on download JSON. And now it is downloaded. And now minimize it. And go to downloads. And click on the Google Assistant setup. Click on I agree. This is for what user you have to install it. So only for the current user I am installing. You can click on anyone who uses this computer, then it will be Google Assistant will be installed for all the users. So I'm installing for me only. Click on next. Click on install. Wait for it to be installed. And click on finish. The Google Assistant will be running. Automatically starting up in the first instance. So let's launch the assistant. So while you first open it, it will be shown like this. And in here, click on the gear icon and key file path. For the key file path, click on browse and select the client secret that you just downloaded. Remember that it is not the client secret that just that we created, it's the auto created by Google One. Click on open and save token spot, leave it as empty, click on save. Click automatically set a path and relaunch the assistant. Then we have given this tab, get a token. So a browser tab will automatically open. Let's see. Yeah, it's automatically opened. And in there, sign in with the Google account that you just gave in the previously mentioned step. Minimize this and click on the Google account or sign in with your Google account and click on continue because it is Google hasn't verified this app. It is not an official build by Google, so just click on continue and scroll down and again click on continue 
And in here, you'll be shown with something like this. Unable to process request due to missing initial state. The error is already described in the wiki handle or in the GitHub handle. So for solving that, we can get the code right from the address tab above. So in the address tab, just select after the equal to. Does not, don't select the equal to. Select the code after the equal to and select it before the and, before the and up to this that is the uh, that is our code and just copy it control c copied and paste it in the get token page paste it and click on submit wait for it to load up and click on relaunch assistant Yes, our assistant has successfully started. Now we can close everything. Close tabs. Let's try our assistant. Just click on this. What is the weather? Currently in Nayatankara, it's 85 degrees and mostly cloudy. Today, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 87 and a yes, low of 78. Okay, fine. Due to the current humidity, it feels like it's 95. What is the height of the Eiffel Tower? The Eiffel Tower is 300 meters high. Yes, everything is working fine. So now let's try enabling the wake word. So for enable the quick the weak word, just click on the gear icon or the settings and just scroll down and in here we have the language. It has already detected language and here we have the given the option for hey Google or OK Google. So enable that. Okay, you can do any editing that you want here. So for a, the assistant hotkey is Windows plus shift plus A. You can change it to anything you want and the theme also can be changed. So I like light theme. Click on save. Yes, now it's the light theme. Now we have enabled the hot word. Let's see how it hey Google. Google IO 2020. According to TechRadar, Google IO 2020 was still months. You can interact with this question by tapping on these questions. And also, if you're asking it, it will give the answers through audio prompts. The Pixel Watch. According to CNET, Google's Pixel Watch. Google announced its long-awaited Pixel Watch on Wednesday, furthering the tech giant's expansion into hardware. The company teased its first smartwatch during its Google I.O. conference, but plans to reveal more details closer to the device's fall launch. Okay. I hope all the people who watched this might have benefited from this video and learned how to install the Google Assistant without any errors. And I suggest you to follow all the instructions carefully because the new updated version is having a lot of errors while installing it. So I have to follow all my instructions carefully. Just two tips are that just don't install the auth credentials in the first time and and the last page in the web authentication page, you have to copy the link from the address tab and paste it. Then the assistant will be working. For enabling the wake word, head over to the settings and you can enable the wake word. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, just hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thank you all for watching.